For nearly 90 years, Cielito Lindo has served customers at their tasty taqueria in the historic Olvera Street Mexican marketplace. I'm all the way from Ontario just to eat their food. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Since I was a kid, my mom and dad, we one time they brought us here and it was over. We're here like every other every other two weeks we're over here. But El Pueblo is much different these days following the pandemic. And I was a little like disappointed to see places closed, maybe some places permanently closed. Some businesses are shuttered, while others struggle to stay open after more than one year of little foot traffic and no tourism. Jose Montanez, a 46-year employee of Cielito Lindo, says... Muy difícil, pero no, you know. It's very difficult, he says. People are not coming to buy food. Remember, in the beginning of the pandemic, you couldn't leave, and we had to cut down staff. All of it was hard. So his family decided to transform their prep kitchen and warehouse on North Broadway into a second takeout spot, aiming to double the revenue and keep their iconic Overa restaurant alive. He says they want people to come to help move forward. But it's not just the pandemic that has impacted the area. The growing homeless community has also kept people away. One of the first reviews we found on TripAdvisor says the area is full of homeless people. The city runs a bridge housing site at one of the El Pueblo parking lots. Councilman Kevin De Leon recognizes the issue. Now, obviously, during the past year, that parking lot wasn't being utilized because we were all shut down completely. There was no business, no foot traffic at all whatsoever. But now as we open up this economy, you know, uh, we want to make sure that they're not adversely impacted. The councilman says there's no immediate plan to relocate the unhoused in the area, but is hoping for funding from the state to address the problem and wants ideas from merchants, too. We're going to be judged. Our generation will be judged as how we deal humanely with our unhoused community members. So it's a balancing act. How do we make sure that folks come to El Pueblo? You know, how can we coexist, you know, in the short term? In the meantime, he put forth a rent relief motion for Olvera merchants to protect and preserve the businesses still hanging on until at least June of this year. So there's no question that we must preserve this cultural jewel that is the origin of modern Los Angeles. The council member says he's also looking for other ways to help business owners after rent relief ends. And of course, those merchants are also asking people to support them during this time. I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.